You're angry as you attempt, Chief Beck, to explain away and minimize the scandalous practices that occurred under your watch at LAPD. You say it's under control, it'll be audited, it'll be checked out, but you're the leader and you're breeding and allowing a police culture that resulted in the rape of a 15-year-old cadet. 15-year-old cannot give it. consent. Um, wow. You allow the theft of police cars, equipment, supplies to be taken and moved around for weeks with no oversight, and in the media you call it lax security. <laughs> we come here week after week and talk about the budget and how much money you get, taking over 54% of the city's funds, while you cannot control and account for expensive police cars, bulletproof vests, radios, tasers, things we talk about here. LAPD is like a shiny apple bought in a store where they spray gloss on it to make it look good. When you take it home and cut it open, it's rotten inside. Yeah. And the most unbelievable part of this is that in this day and age, that there was no written policy about how officers should not be alone with minors enrolled in any of the LAPD youth programs, not just the cadet program. It's amazing, every preschool, every school, every club, boys and girls club, Girl Scouts, have written policies about the relationship between adults and minors, except our law enforcement, LAPD. There was no policy saying, don't rape minors at LAPD. LAPD policy, as we see it, is do whatever you want to do, just don't get caught. And we say, shame on you, Charlie Beck. Shame, shame on, on you, you, fake civilian commissioners who <laughs> sit here rubber stamp and co-sign every lie of LAPD. And shame on our mayor of our city for allowing this whole circus to exist. And as we said one year ago, Fire Charlie Beck. Yeah. That's the solution. Fire Charlie Beck. 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 Fire Charlie Beck.